guys welcome to the loop today i'm introducing i'm the guest but okay let's take it so welcome back to the loop my name is okakazo louise and today i have a really special guest the so, missus yep. yeah and uh you guys asked us a lot of questions we are so grateful and uh we decided to come here and answer i hope you enjoy without further ado let's get in guest oh nianze Guest funny kitu. Kuku kuku. So guess I can't remember. Mhm. On to the first question. How did you be, how did you guys becoming parents change the dynamics of the relationship? Can they man that I'm chung. Yo, you so deep into it, but that's awesome. Mhm. So awesome. Um so Una you can Yeah, you can you can actually Okay. Start. I feel like um becoming new parents has really changed the dynamics of the relationship in that there's obviously everything everything Say what? and by that i mean obviously the time you used to spend together is now limited you have to make sure you panga you plan for everything around the baby so if the baby is asleep you can do other things if they are awake and you can do things with her awake then you do that but i think that's one thing that has really changed mm-hmm. in our relationship mm-hmm. yeah for me it's actually <laughs> it's as always budgeting my budgets are always upside down because uh many kind of place i see something that <laughs> i like <laughs> that in a semania emma I, I have to take it. Me, I, I really, I really feel like um, um, having a child really changes how you guys think. Yeah. Mostly the kwanga. Oh, so you want earrings? You yeah. want necklace? You want? You get it. Mm-hmm. But Zaini, so you want earrings? I'm like, ah, not right now. Emma needs right now because yeah. now it's like um, you shift all your focus towards your child, mm-hmm. and when it comes to spending more time, you have to be more intentional. Because uh, time is not the same way when you go out, you are really. To get some money, to tembe, to tembe, at this do you happy? You have the time, you have the luxury of that. But right now, I'm busy doing so much things. You have to think of. Okay, yeah. I think I also have remembered another thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you need to also introduce a new person apart from your baby being a new person. you are introducing another new person to the family and to the relationship who is your house help or your nanny because obviously you need help with the baby if you're going back to work mm-hmm. or for you just to for life to be seamless you actually need help and women if you are a mom please just ask for accept help. help and accept it yes. ask and accept help yeah take help take thank you you're welcome <laughs> so I'll go on to the next question. So, how did you know that she or he was the, the one. one? You start. How did you know I'm the one, Susan? You anyway. start. Uh-huh. Mm. <clears throat> For me, I can give like two instances. For me, it was when um I I saw she was someone different than who I was. the other people I was actually used to. she wasn't the same normal girl that I, i was used to she was actually different thought about her future thought about what she's actually doing but uh so that's the first in, instance you're the guest kindly act well a um the second instance was one day when i was sick and come uh, like she lay late and um nikambia soon ndo nafika and she was like quick on her feet as she fika kwa bo karibu atakuwa gita kwa like in kwa like eko nume toka katikati ya class and i was like um hey yo so so mimi ndo nabuliza like kumetoka katikati ya class and she was like yeah of course i've come to see my man and i was like i'm sorry what is that bro give me that evil like yeah you you want to get to me yeah never mind but anyway for you 
um, for me, I'll give a um, tragic um, story time of how I knew Robert was the one. Story time. Yeah. So I did a prank that Robert hated. Ah no. So this please, there no, are stories, please you know, let me he, let me just tell it. Right. Um, I lied to Robert. It was a pretty food. And in the morning, yeah, you didn't know. In the morning, I went to school and we planned with one of his friends. Come on, you just uh, lie to him that you found me somewhere crying and he needs to come. So Robert comes over and I lie to him. I know this was the worst joke. Like this, it, this was it bad. Joke. Yeah, was it crap. was. Yeah, it was crap. <laughs> anyway, uh, I tell him. Um, so the plan was to tell him that someone. Uh, raped me and I was left there so I was there just crying frantic and all that and Robert was so mad he was like Nani but, but you, you imagine that, that's a joke As, okay yeah I know I'm sorry I was young and stupid no your sense of humor was just yeah never there true, but that, that's, that's say, one funny. day that okay, so. I really knew Robert cared about me deeply not just caring until I oh he was mad. He was like, Nionyeshe uyo mtu. Uni, Nionyeshe, hata kama mepanda gari, I want to see him. Okay, I'm really sorry. Let, let me apologize. Yeah, apologize. 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 But yeah, that was a sick joke, but that's one thing that showed me that he really, it's really was the one. It's really funny that you fell in love with me just because you were toxic. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Let me pick the next question. Uh, You're calling me toxic on, on live? On air. Okay. So. I do, I do, I I, even the hair is just very well, very well. Wow. Oh, it's actually a question. Okay. okay. <coughs> What's a weird habit that you have about each other? Yes, yeah, so giving bad stories. That's <laughs> 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 a weird habit. Where did you get that from? Where? <laughs> the, the weird uh, habit of giving bad stories. Anyway. Okay, my stories are not bad. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I actually think to my other myself, but, um, <coughs> but it's okay. It's okay. So, what's a weird thing I really hate? Your cold feet. I know it's not a habit, but out of my socks, just cold feet. What will move? Okay, one, one weird habit. What do you actually do that I really hate? Um, imagine besides the cold feet, I don't think I actually, I, I don't think so. I don't think I have any other thing. That's not a habit. That's a shit I have to uh, keep up with. You see the way mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. The way people have this weird, like when you hear a screech, like kwa, kwa, kwa board or something, you're like, your teeth. I can't deal with people eating clothes or strings. Other side is scared just thinking about it. And so it's her. And I'm go. So it makes me oh normally even when 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 our baby like anakulanga ngu, I can't I can't stare at her. Yeah, that's a weird okay. habit. How do you eat? Una kulaje ta wen? Achana many please. Um one weird habit about you. Okay, this I hate. Leaving clothes and socks and just things all over, Robert. I don't leave them. You Let know. me explain myself. I don't leave because them. Because there is order in my madness. Niko shua na chengo apa because na juan bono. So bono na changa basi. Doni kujie badai. You know what? Doni sisa how? Hi. Next question. <coughs> Ooh, let me pick one from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Mm -hmm. At what age do you think people should settle down? And just like we talked about, mm. go may I settle. Settle down and be ready. Sawa, I'm going to go, but sawa, I'm going to go. Second, 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 second. Bana boy, good boy now. Anyway. Um, if you don't mind, you can stop. At what age do you think people should settle down? Um, I 
don't think there's a given age. Um, people mature in different times, and you hear stories of people saying, "Oh, me, I was married at 20." She, they are in a good relationship. Someone says, "Oh, me, I was married at maybe 30, and they were in a toxic relationship." So I don't think there's any given age that you should settle down. Yeah, that's my opinion. Mm, for me, I've said this thing and the same as this thing many times in my life. That lady or that man, do it. Do it. Do him, do they, whatever. Any time in your now, that you know that this is the perfect time for me to just stay with this guy or the, this lady. It's a perfect time for you. Because uh, a way why define perfect time you need to someone. True. Yeah. Perfect you're married that? What, you're married that? Married. Let me see. I've been dumped. <laughs> <laughs> what age did we meet? 21. I was 21. And I was 22. So... Okay, we were kids. <laughs> anyway, next yeah, question. That's why the bad pranks. Mm -hmm. um, please share a funny moment that you share together. Start. Start. No, you start. Yes. Um, recently, uh, we were walking to get our, to get our home. The sewer come to like somewhere we could choose. Now we're walking to get our home. And these two chicks were going to JV and there's a guy in the middle. <laughs> so, these chicks were going to call and they were going to call to call and they were going to call and they were going to Hi! Susan Nan. <laughs> Hi! Wangalia, <laughs> the guy on the other side, he was going to Susan Nan, he was going to call and he was going to call and he was going to call so, yes. but anyway, but anyway, I swallowed my pride. Yes. So that's a funny thing because me check every time Nikki Mombia hi. <laughs> anyway. Give us. Um so mini story time again. Uh you guys know double M. If you've ever traveled with a double M, the name of the so, big is a purple. Yeah, we were once still Bado in college and we were going home. So, from Buru to home, I mean to town, and we were sitting at the back bench. Then a lady came in uh, and sat just in front of us. She was just on her phone. Actually, the whole way she was on her phone. A bigger story, a bigger story. It got to a point till a Marty Major, so say Nainda. Now everyone is now invested in their story. Mm. So she's there saying, Sijunini. Okay, I can't remember the whole story. Airport, airport and all that. So sit up on Dani Dani. By the way, we listen to everything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so there's this point she mentioned. And she was like, oh, I was just carrying my ugage. Eh? And she kept mentioning it. You know, Sijun, my ugage. Mm, I gave him the ugage. Yeah, yeah, she like, kept hey. saying it. And in my head, I'm like, hey. I hope, anyway, maybe Labda, Siju Iwad, we will look it up. Then later we come to realize <laughs> that she meant Lugage is luggage. As in, who does that? <laughs> hey, hand me my Lugage. Ay, Jesus. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> that was a weird Lugage. True. Uh, on to the next question. So, how has it been living together? Do I start? Hey. Take your look again. Mm, to me, it's been good and bad. <laughs> Side eye. Anyway, um, good and bad mm, because busted. because Robert made some decisions in the beginning that were not favorable for for us. How has it been living? As in, it was bad, but now it's, it's amazing. It's it's good because. You get to see this person, how they think, how they live their life. Obviously, you spend so much time together. So, I feel it's it's been amazing. Yeah, except in the beginning. For me, um, I've actually learned a lot, to be honest. I've learned a lot in the sense that, let me realize, um, I always carry myself highly when it comes to cooking. 
until I met someone who can cook. Just, you know, honesty. Honesty is the best thing. Honesty. Same as you joke pick up, but not more than me. Okay, sour. So I realized that um, you learn a lot. You actually grow together in the sense that living together gives you an insight to someone else's life, like an insight to what Susan does that you actually didn't know should be done. I've learned things like um, ironing clothes super well, not just ironing clothes. Um, she's not good in arrangement. Like, Ajuku Panga Vitu, they'll be clean and everything else, but her arrangement is always just off. So, Mimi, I always do that. As in, Munenda Puna compliment you and so many things without even knowing you're actually doing that because Hamu jazz or air and you're learning each other. Yeah, that's that's what it is for me. It's in the back door. Let me shuffle you. That that came out. Um, question: Is this going to be a one-off podcast, or will you go the joy right away? Okay, okay, you can give me the mic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, well, um, that seems like a me question, right? Yeah, it is. Um, hmm. I like Joyride, by the way, to be honest. I like the combination of um, Wanjiro and uh, Ben Psycho because to me, I find that they really turned around that podcast being together. But as for me, um, yes, I get inspired with a lot of things that I watch, but I want to take this journey by myself, if I may say that. I want to take this journey a podcast by myself because I pushed myself to start it. I know Sue can do her own projects by herself. And um, she's invited. She's always invited. Anytime we have a discussion and everything else. It took us actually a long time before we came to this episode. That we actually decided to do it took us a long time and it's just because of i i like specific specificity <laughs> yes i like being specific with whatever i want to do uh, and i always have plans for what i feel like my my things will be like future yeah, stuff in attacker so to me yes and no in the sense that yes i'd really like to invite sue more because she always has a different unique perspective even most times in Kufanya, like my topics my questions she always helps me but i would also say no because there are things i'd like to keep it for myself like this is my own project and i want to push it to the end because um that's how i feel about it as i say that's how i feel about it as in This project has taken me along a lot, a lot, and I'd like to keep it at that. Let it stress me, not let it stress us. Thank you for my question. Let me pick another one. Okay. Help me answer satisfactorily though. I have. Okay, how do you but Okay, this is also my question. So how do you balance your life with uh, having a podcast? Man, it's tricks. Man, it's tricks. Especially when we found out to end up to have a, a baby. Most times I had to... The, the most times I had to do my podcast, I had to maybe take time off from my podcasting to spend more time with uh, my wife and the baby. Even um, when the baby came, we had a conversation with Sue and I, I was like, I don't want to stop it. I don't want to stop doing it. I wanted to continue. So I wanted to like give Sue her own time from taking care of the baby and everything else. And in return, I also get a day for me shoot. Because I, all, I, all I need is a day to shoot several episodes. And uh, it really worked out. And that's another advice I tell someone who's trying to do podcasting. Make sure you give it your all. Any free time you get and you've got a chance you can shoot, may it be audio, may it be video. Make sure you don't stop, no matter what major life um, milestone you've hit or something. Don't stop it because you don't know what you're actually going to get in the future. And how I really balance it is by 
making sure that Sue knows when I want to do it and uh, the day I want to do it. Like, let's say in the same way, August 30th. So, I want to do it August 30th. I'll tell you, August 30th, I'm off. Then I could shoot. I'll invite my people, my pema, because I don't want to also cancel my, cancel the people when you invite me. Invite people like in a cave, in a nun. Then you go like, ah, oh, now I, I can't know. Nisha sema early, early, early enough. So if you have plans for that day, we have to know how we do it. So I try to balance it here. And um, yeah, makes me really lively actually. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that is. Okay, <clears throat> and to the next question. Mm -hmm. How do you guys navigate disagreements? Where is that? Boxing matches. Oh, a lot. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Boxing matches, we have a lot of those. <laughs> How do you handle disagreements? I feel like um, you need to know that you're not fighting against each other. You're a unit. You're together, so you're not, <laughs> <are> talking. <laughs> you're not fighting each other, but you're fighting the problem. So whatever the problem is, um, he's on my side. He's on my team, and I am not fighting him. I'm fighting the problem. Obviously, there are feelings involved and getting mad and angry and all that. But if there's one thing that I really appreciate that Robert taught me, is when you're angry. Um, you can ask for a time off and just go and cool down. Don't just react in the moment because you may say things or do things that you'll regret later. Yeah, I think that's how. Mm. I think you also grow into these things in the sense that when you were young, really young, it was a matter of get angry, so we'll walk off and go. And me in the couple, like uh, just wallowing and wondering. But once we reach certain points, now we really got into communication and full, full communication. Yeah. We made each other understand that it's not, it's not violence. It's different perspectives of two different people who are raised differently yeah. and are here at this point. Give it your all. So, why are we disagreeing? Because of this and this and this. Okay, to make a change. What is actually the problem? The problem is the thing we're disagreeing about. How can we solve it? Not how can we fight about it? Make like a pali, like a katikati. So apart at this part, this part. Clearly, it works. That's how we solve disagreements. And sana. I'll buy boxing gloves and I'll buy myself a wig. So I can that maximum height boxing. I'll identify as she. She her. And she will beat you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we, we go through that. Uh, the next question. What advice will you give other people considering a relationship? Susan, what advice will you give other people considering a relationship? Um, mine is simple and clear. In your heart, in your gut, follow it. If you feel this is the right thing for you, follow your heart, follow your gut. Like just, you you know, there's no way you, you always say at you, oh, I actually didn't know. I know that people who are two-faced and you may go into the relationship and they show you all the flowers and all the, you know, to good, good stuff. Mm -hmm. But in your heart of hearts, you always know, I feel this guy is the right person for me, or I feel this lady is the right person for me. So why not jump jump right in? And again, do it as much as possible until you get the one. 100%. Yeah, do it as much as possible. As in, <laughs> if, so, so, so you turn on various dates so that until you discover who that person is. Okay, for me, <laughs> for me it's just... Remember to be you. Be you. Yes. As in, when I get when you're in a relationship, <coughs> don't be fake. As in, don't try to impress someone. Mm. This is me. If you eat your own mucus, this is me. 
if you eat you your own feet, you this is me. I'm just giving examples. Hey, maybe you eat your own clothes, Kama Susan, na towel, this is me. If the other person, if the other person can't really accommodate you and understand you, another one. Yeah. Another advice, this another is for the ladies. Manga. I feel like men don't suffer from this, but yeah. if you're a lady, mm. and because ladies have this pressure, obviously from society, from their own selves, society. they're always like, at the, oh, but they, like they have a biological clock. So yeah, pressure checking. from dead people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're always like, at the, oh, many shows like Kasana. No, please, girl, you're not old. You are not like don't be too desperate at every guy who comes along you're like oh let's jump right in no know, know yourself have boundaries and just know who you are before you get into that relationship yeah girl too hard girl i'm talking to you <laughs> okay wow wow <laughs> Eko Wende, overboard. Okay. what has surprised you most about each other in the relationship In, mm. in what way? Like surprise. Um, I think it's surprising, like um, something you didn't expect to get in a relationship. In this relationship, right? Yeah, yeah. You have I, another one. I have a relationship with my baby, my daughter. Anyway, I will give you answer. Maybe it will jog my mind. Oh, for me, it's actually what has really been surprising is. How someone can care so much about me, mm -hmm. like support and care. You really support me. If if a crazy idea I have, if a crazy shit I do or something, because um, maybe in the past that wasn't the case. Because it, it wasn't a matter of feelings. It was a matter of just we're here for this period, mostly for three months. So here and uh, let's play this game of tag. After two months, we are off. And that's the point. So that's one thing that was really surprising um, about you in this relationship. I was like, I, I'm not on a jalingi. I'm like, hey, so nena kudos and I'm like, hey, have a good night. Hey, I hope to put on a kesho. As in, you're really forward thinking and really caring. Maybe that was really surprising to me. Okay. Um, for me, I think one thing that has surprised me over time, not even in the beginning, mm. but over time, is how much this one person has changed all of, like, all through the, the time. Because obviously when we started the relationship, his way of thinking was very different. Um, his mannerisms were also very different. How he looked. The mannerisms, okay. How he looked. Please go to his Instagram, Wangalepcha, see how he looked compared to this. So anyway, so, 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 so <laughs> mm -hmm. how much he has changed over time. And I really appreciate that even though I've been with you, I am able to appreciate these seasons of life because there have been various seasons that we've been through together and you've also been through alone in your life, you know. Yeah. yeah. That is one thing that has really surprised me. And the fact that we have stayed together even through all these changes and all these seasons. Yeah. Thanks. Me. That's awesome. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. cool.